kick going. You're a rascals and this is hit the flop. So hit the flop. Hit the flop, hit the flop. Um, I'm just grateful that people are just taking us in now, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I love working with people because it like people bring different things to the table, you know what I'm saying? And it's always different. Like if you're working with another MC there'll be like competition and even being in a group with MCs and such as that like, Temps and Mercs is that competition there, you know what I'm saying? And that always keeps you on your toes and being in like a scene that's what it's all about, you know what I'm saying? Like, Zayn Lo, even though he's a DJ, he's like a producer as well, you know what I'm saying? So that's how we got to work and try to do something. And that's how we kind of um, saw our like friendship, you know what I'm saying? He's a good guy, man. Steven as well, Pro is a good guy. Just grateful, man. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's nice to see that people are showing us um, the love and just like she said before. Um, Zane Lowe, with, like, he, he shows us love, he showed us love from the start, he's seen the journey and yeah, it, it, this is why we do it, it if we didn't get this kind of response it's kind of like is it working so for us it's, it's, it humbles us, like, and we stay humble but it's nice to see that people are actually giving us the recognition so. um, Yeah, I'm just grateful man um, Zane Lowe, yeah, I used to listen to his show back in the day as well so it's like just showing, now that they're showing support I'm just grateful. Um, as Kay said, he's seen the journey from the beginning. Yeah, just grateful. Hopefully, more people show more support. You know what I mean? Um, well, um, our fans have all them, so to get that, like, um, for them to be taken, taken in what we're doing, um, it's a good feeling, really. Um, from Zayn Lowe especially, because of the people he's around, like from people he interviews on his show and everything. So yeah, I'll say it's, a, it's definitely a good feeling. And that was sick, I mean, I've actually been listening to Kendrick for like, quite a long time and his album just came out before that so when, when they told us that we were supporting him it was like kind of surreal but yeah, it was very sick um, I liked all the shows, uh, the, the nightlife as well was good <laughs> um, yeah, it was sick man, definitely I picked up on his album late but it was just before we supported it so I was gassed on the album, I still think it's probably one of the like best hip hop albums to date in it. So be that like, hearing that and then actually find because we wanted to watch him live, you know what I'm saying? And then actually finding out are oh, we supporting him. Um, yeah and obviously as an artist you kinda don't wanna be seen as like oh hello like what's going on? Nice to meet you man like so we try to play it cool and just the first day I think it was in Newcastle done sound check like he was hearing the music just from being in the same building. He liked it, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of gave me a better feeling than supporting him because if I didn't have a conversation with him at all, I wouldn't have felt great for that supporting him, you know what I'm saying? Like we said to ourselves, if we could ask him for anything, we'd just be to watch our live show. And obviously with um, a lot of Americans have that big egos and they might not even have time for the support acts, but he had time for us and we even heard so high and he told us he liked it, so that was kind of like a, a, a motivation for us that obviously he's around the Jay-Z's, the Drake's, so for him to stop and be like, that, that's sick for us, that was like, yeah, that, that was a good feeling. Even even him taking taking in what he was doing, like, so high, when he heard so high, when um, we was, um, sound check, when we was doing the sound check, he actually took it in and, and he said um, that, we're dope, that, that he's feeling, he said that uh, dope, it sounds dope still, and he's shouting us out, he's showing that, so yeah, that, that, Good experience from that show. Um, the best part? Making music with my mates. And my mates outside music, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's like the best thing. To actually like be in a um, situation or position with people that's stuck around you since you was like eight, seven, you know what I'm saying? It's like, who would you rather work with than people that's your best mates? It's natural, really. This is that um, growing up, but I wouldn't even. It's just growing up as a lifestyle of being a rascal. But I say working with um, mates on music. Best, best feeling about being a rascal, really.
uh, making music with my friends that I grew up with, you know? Yeah, that's the best bit. Let's wrap up. Um, Shiz is more, more grand head, more, more MC, Max raps and he does both like me, but um, I'll say, I'll say Max and Shiz gonna keep me on my toes here yeah, to make me good as well, so yeah. Um, rapper, Merc, I'll give Merc some temps. Give it to Merc some temps. You know what? Temps. Me! I'm joking now. Um, I'll give it to Shiz. Um, all of us have our strands. Depends what kind of music it is. You know what I'm saying? I'll say... K Wills, but we're all dedicated in, in our own ways. But K Wills keeps us, he keeps us together. I say K on that. Uh, all of us. Me. <laughs> I'm joking. Now I'm the most, I'm the most um, not disciplined, but I'm the person that's not moaning. They'll see us moaning, but I'm the person that will be like, come on. But we're all, we're, we're all. Uh... I'll give it to the deal. Funniest us is shiz. It's just, oh, they're all boring, man. Shiz. 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 Oh, it's late today, man. You always fucking get on to me. Shiz. <laughs> uh, we all have our bad days. Shiz. <laughs> Probably K, man. <laughs> So hi, um, you know what, it was like, I was working on an album, I was working with so many people and like, it kind of got lost, like I'm saying, it got lost in what we was making and I think the actual song on that EP, So Hi, was the first song we made when we kind of found um, a route and a vision on where we want to go. So Hi is the main single was produced by M Flo. Um, that was like the first song that we made where like, we sort of had like a vision that we could go down. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm like, pretty proud of it. We got a feature from Sizzler on there. Um, my dad used to listen to him and that, so, it was, like, so that's kind of a big thing. Um, got All About She done a remix for So High. Boy Better Know, who I also used to listen to as a young one. So. It's, it's a taster of the album. Um, we went through a stage of being signed, we went through like, not the machine, but we went working with loads of producers and having a sound like Fireblaze and then having another sound here and trying to make it into an album. But for us, it was more about creating a piece of like, art, a body of work and making it like it's our first album, we're, we're signed to a major, we could might never get this opportunity again, there's no point doing it half-heartedly. When we made so hard, it was like, the benchmark to like the whole album, so it was like a good feeling for us when we made it. Um, from there, we just thought, yeah, this is where we should take it musically. So yeah, man, um, just waiting for it to get out there, June the fifteenth, and just hopefully people take it in and respect it for for what we done on it. Uh, I don't know. But hopefully, hopefully big things. Hopefully we can be the best the best we can be and. Uh, break out of the UK box and be worldwide and look after our family and all of that. Thing. Like I'm, when I say this, I'm being humble, but we aspire to be the best I can be. You know what I mean? I don't make music just for the, my area. Like where I'm trying to, I'm trying to be as, be as big, like be with the Kendricks and not just be from the UK and make them put us in the UK box. If you know what I mean? So the biggest we can be, to be honest, man. I can't say really, but. Like I said, I hope um, the EP comes out, the album comes out, and then just puts us in a good place, man, musically, and just, yeah, that's that, that we're living. <laughs> I know, hope big things. Hope everyone looks after their family in that like, four years. I hope we all have a yard. I hope, oh, mate, I hope we're just living nice, man. <laughs>